Well, last night you may have missed this, but a very special moment. John McClendon was posthumously awarded the Theodore Roosevelt Award by the NCAA. Now, some of our younger viewers might not know who John McClendon is, and I can't even really begin to do his resume justice in this video, but I can tell you this. He learned basketball at the hands of Dr. Naismith, the man who invented the sport when McClendon was a young student at the University of Kansas. The Four Corners offense, he invented that. The fast break, yep, yeah, that's his too, even though the credit is hardly given properly. He coached at what is now known as North Carolina Central University and Tennessee State University as well. He's one of the forefathers of the CIAA tournament. McClendon and a group of friends scraped together $500 in 1946 to create what is now one of the biggest HBCU events, a staple in the culture, the CIAA tournament. Now, along the way, he used basketball to integrate the sport and simply make society better everywhere he went. Now, that's just a snippet of his basketball adventures. There was so much so that in 2016, he was enshrined into the Naismith Hall of Fame, a complete full circle moment. Now, I personally met and interviewed Coach McClendon while he was still alive, and I was a hapless young broadcaster at the CIAA tournament. And unbeknownst to me at the time, I was actually very good friends with his grandson, Maurice Banks, who was a classmate of mine at Winston-Salem State University. And uh, I had no idea that that was his grandfather. He was just a guy I liked that lived across the hall. So let's hear a few words now from a usually quiet Maurice Banks. Being inducted as a coach into the Hall of Fame, the experience truly was unlike anything that I had ever been to. It let me see that my granddad really is a part of the story uh, when you tell the story of basketball. I think of him as my hero, and the more that I've learned about him, it's truly, uh, it's awe-inspiring, actually. Congratulations to the Hall of Famer, well-deserved John B. McClendon.